Pa's operations in the Philippines clearly define him as a villain. But it is his ambition for the rest of the world that would make him a super villain. Alright? For starters, remember those rifles? Alright? That he brought in on the on the Captain Ufu? You want to take a wild guess where they were going? They were intended to reach a terrorist group. Or many terrorist groups, actually. In the African region. Yes, I'm talking about... Um, what's, what's, what's the guys called out in Africa? You know, like... Um, I don't want to say names, but... Um, I could be wrong, but he was, he was the type to sell to the Houthi rebels... And turn around and sell to the resistance. He's making money either way. They both popping each other. It's not like they're gonna follow the Geneva Convention. All right. He he reached. You know, it, it wasn't about money at that point, bro. Like, like it became almost sadistic. It's like he was trying to get revenge on the world or something. Trying to see everybody, boom boom, ba ba. So this is this is it's safe to say he has reached supervillain territory. Now, if you thought if you thought what I just told you just now is crazy, holla, get ready for this. One thing about the many, 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 like forget this documentary, uh, 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 cybercrime topics that I've covered in the past. I have noticed, I've noticed the recurring theme almost. Now, if you've been keeping up with the world of cybercrime lately, then you are most likely uh, up to date and, and, and in the know of, of Mr. Uh, Raymond Hush Puppy, Raymond Abbas, aka Hush Puppy, the notorious uh, uh, nicknamed the Pablo Escobar of Scammon. Why do I bring him up? It is to make a point in the last documentary that you guys have uh, uh, joined me for. You have seen Albert. Now, here's the thing. There's many scammers. There's many frosters. There's many hackers all over the world. A lot of them, you know, <laughs> the guy in your hood might be pulling bigger numbers, Albert. Or sometimes... You're, you're, you're African off of whatever app or, or you know, who, who there's, a, there's a dude who looks just like Hush, okay? Uh, pretty much everybody knows, bro. Like, uh, uh, and, you know, he is alleged, you know, a rumor to have even quadruple times money Hush Puppy would even have made in his few years of scouting. But what has brought the thunder what have made the thunder of the U.S. government strike on Albert's head, Hush Puppy's head? What did, what did they have in common? Here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. This is the recurring theme that I've said. Why does a guy like Hush uh, or a guy like Albert go down when there's a lot of people pulling bigger numbers and nine times out of ten sloppier than Albert and Hush put together? I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. It all boils down to the simple uh, phenomena that runs most of our world. Sometimes gang world, but also our government world and whatever else. It's called politics. Okay. Politics is, 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 is when usually governments decide to uh, uh, make it rain with the thunder and strike the enemy, okay? When it was, when in Albert's case, it was never really about uh, them trying to fight a kid who, uh, I mean, they didn't know it was a kid until they got him, right? They thought they were fighting a Russian state actor in a first instance of a cyber war or cyber warfare. Now, I say that to say, uh, and Hush Puppy as well, 
<clears throat> in Hush Puppy's case, it was the same thing. It was an instance of 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 government flexing his muscles, saying, "Hey, yo, bruh, stop planning games. Don't think you you effing with the ops." Because what makes Hush Puppy and the other no name guy I choose not to dry snitch on that we all probably know who got more money and drip. Hell, he seems to launder the well done. The difference between them is Hush Puppy, the whole reason the government they even made a video of his arrest of they call it Fox Hunt. Fox Hunt? What? He went in with the with the with the troops looking SWAT team. He's just the internet's camera, bruh. Okay, he's not Osama been trapping or swiping. But they did the SWAT team jumping from helicopters, all that. Why? Why did they do that? Again, politics. Most of you, the detail that a lot of people don't report on is that in Hush Puppy's case. The, the 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 thing that made the U.S. say, nah, bro, you crossed the line, was, wasn't the scamming. There's plenty of people doing bigger numbers. And they're on the most wanted. Some of them have been on there for years, cybercrime. Nigerians. But Hush did the, un- Hush did <laughs> the thing you shouldn't do, which is F with the ops, okay? Doesn't matter if you gangbang, doesn't matter if it's your girlfriend it's trying to make you mad, she go and sleep with your enemy, and send you a Snapchat of it, and then try to be cool, like, nah, it ain't cool. Doesn't matter if you're a government. Loyalty is loyalty, right? People think like that's what really moves people. Hush Puppy worked with North Korean hackers. I'm gonna do a separate video on him, but this is this is why they came down for him. It was never about stopping scamming. There's there's more people who are active, more money than us. Albert only had ten cards. I'm not dry snitching, but y'all know, we all know. It was all about politics, and, and, and that's why they made a big show out of it. All right, Russia, North Korea, and in today's case. Oh boy. Oh le. Oh le. Polly did the one thing you shouldn't do. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Now, he decided, you know, after he had his own. Uh, remember the little situation with the ship, Captain Ufuk? Yeah, that little situation with the crates, right, full of ammo and, 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 and rifles and all type of artillery, <laughs> military grade weaponry. What was that gone? It wasn't going to the gun show to be displayed, no. It was going to unsavory places. And he popped up on the U.S. radar. Rather, the international radar, the radar of the Allies, when the word came out that Mr. Albert, see what he, uh, uh, cut. Pa, during this time, built a relationship with the Iranian government, with the Persians. From 2008 to 2010, he was being friendly, cuddly, hell, even, even, even uh, uh, savory and, and technologically, okay? He was being uh, uh, friends with Iran, all right? The biggest ops of USA and Arabia at that. See, Iran is involved in proxy wars all the way down in Iraq and most recently, notably, Most notably, uh, as of recent times, Yemen, okay, where they got crushed by the Saudis. But that's my bias to me. But see, just like many enemies of the U.S., Iran doesn't have the ability to shop 
they can go to Walmart for their ammo. Okay. They got sanctions just like many of the quote unquote ops of the US, like um, North Korea. Which again, no spoilers, but that's why they had to rely on things like selling meth and hacking Bitcoin, crypto. Okay, because they're under trade sanctions. So, Polly would source weapons for their proxy armies fighting in the U.S., in Iraq. Huh. Most importantly, he developed cheap IEDs for them. I don't feel like going into details about them weapons. That's not what the topic is. But what what, what is what is important to highlight is when one says proxy armies, these guys don't have uh, official armies they support. They support terrorists. They support the Houthi and, and Al-Qaeda and such. So he was really giving guns to people like the people I just listed. Yeah, by the crates. Crazy, because he didn't even need the money to be doing that. Bro. Like, and this way, Pa, if you look at it, is responsible for the passing of countless soldiers from the U.S. and allied nations. So, not only are you messing with the ops and getting cozy and friendly and taking them out to lunch, and dinner, but you also giving them, you giving them uh, the means and tools to hurt Uncle Sam and his fellow, uh, what was it, the Seven Eyes or whatever, the allies. So, you can, you can begin to see where things here started to get hot. Hush messed with the North Koreans, and he got hit with the book. I ain't talking Facebook. He got hit with the, with the what they call it? Fox hunt. I made a whole video about him, of how they got him at night. But he woke up, but it wasn't a message on Telegram he woke up to. Saying the transfer has been completed by us. No, he woke up to the Dubai. Army, not even the police. SWAT team. <laughs> Yet, when the SWAT team done what they done, all right, you know, Dubai people stormed them and did all that video editing and made that uh, action movie they did. Guess who claimed the 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 the, the credit? The U.S. Yeah, the I got them. I'll uh. But see, hush puppy, all right, I guess maybe the North Koreans saw him as a puppy and thought he was delicious because, see, he, just North Korea alone, that one play he did with them cost them everything. Now, Polly's case, <laughs> oh, the, he was getting, so he was in bed when I ran to Persian. But also, while he was in bed, he said, you know what, bruh? Hey, yo, I ran, baby. How are you, baby? You know I'm a big, fat man now, you know? Big software, kingpin, drug pusher, you know? I feel like, baby, I want to be like Pablo. So how about we have a threesome? I ran said, I don't know about that. I get jealous. Pa said, nah, 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 baby, don't you worry. Okay? I'm not going to, I'm not going to. You're going to be my favorite. And the girl, you're going to love her. So Iran says, mm, Who's the girl? Can I at least choose? He says, I got you, baby. You're going to love her. Please don't tell me Saudi Arabia. Nah, nah, nah. I got the, just the girl you're going to love. North Korea. So he's having a threesome. With Iran. North Korea, bro. That whole bed is hot. You understand me? Might as well light fire on that bed. <laughs> oh, the... Listen, now you sitting up there with in the Philippines, the land of the the. the... Hey, listen, bro. There's one thing being a white man moving to the Philippines. It's always a creepy reason, usually. Not all the time. 
on top of that, you 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 selling tech to the Persian, but that's not enough. Why do you even need to hang with the North Koreans? He developed ties with the North Koreans, and guess what he do with them? Don't worry, he ain't selling them tech this time. All right, maybe high tech. I'm talking uh, uh, the meth. That I mean, okay, the Heisenberg sauce. And he said, you know what, bro? I pushed, though. Rick Ross, wait, what's the? Every day I'm hustling. He thought he's Rick Ross for a second. <laughs> so he started pushing with them a little ice. And I ain't talking ice spice. His desire to expand these types of operations would lead him to the poor, 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 poor guys over at Somalia. Paul envisioned a base in Somalia where he could store thousands of munitions guarded by his own army of mercs. Not off the perks. Mercenaries. See, he wanted it to operate kind of like uh, <clears throat> RX Limited uh, uh, and become a type of, uh, let's say, Amazon, all right, for the underworld where organizations could order weapons and they would be smuggled all over the world. Not saying it was a bright idea, but I'll give it to you. He was, uh, in his own way, his own sick, twisted way, some kind of vision. All right, I would have felt a little less worse about it if he did it with drugs, but guns, bruh, count me out. Oh, love. So Paul hired a mercenary named Jack to lead a militia on the ground in Somalia. Jack had a military background, and that helped the group fend off the local terrorists that solidified Paul's position in the country. This expedition into Somalia would ultimately lead to his downfall. Because 2011 comes, his name start popping up in places he wouldn't want it to pop up. 2011, United Nations, you know, they launched the investigation into the pirates of Somalia. All right, I'm the captain now, you know? They were looking into them. While looking into them, though, his name came up. They're like, hold on, who is that? When they look into the weapon trades that's happening in reason, like, holy. Okay, noted. Around this time, though, Paul again suspected he was being stolen from. But this time, it was Jack. He suspected Jack was a culprit. The two got into it, and they had her falling out. And then Jack went into hiding for a short period. Before Jack could do the race and disappear, though, he turned voluntarily <laughs> Into a Takashi 6 9 But voluntarily, though, nobody even forced him. It was like a get back kind of thing. Jack picked up the phone. Okay? And this is where things went downhill for the boy. Guess what Jack said? Now, I don't know if he never paid Jack for his work or what happened exactly. But Jack wanted some get back after that falling out. So guess what he did? You are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. Make sure to click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm.